But the idea of just giving them choices so that they can feel like they have the ability to then think about what they want and articulate that and specify it. And the reality is that a lot of us were raised and a lot of older generations were raised not having any choice or preference or ability to do that. The way that people parented before and were taught was right to parent was that the parent knows best and you do what needs to be done and the child should be passive. Um, but we now know that those types of messages from the very beginning communicate something much greater than that. What they communicate is that your feelings aren't necessarily important and you don't get to have a say in things. And if that's consistently communicated by the people that love you and care for you the most as you get older, then it's not surprising that people have a hard time connecting with their feelings and their wants and their boundaries and communicating them to other people because they haven't had an opportunity to do that to, with their parents and their caregivers and the people that they love and trust the most, you know? So it's about establishing communication around body and, and, and contact, um, but also just preferences and being able to choose things and having that ability to connect with what do I actually want and what is my preference? You know, even if it's, do you want carrots or cucumbers? You know, it's just, it's the process of checking in with yourself and seeing what you want and articulating that preference. And when you've had enough carrots or cucumbers, saying no and honoring the fact that they know when they're full, you know, it's, it's a, it's a challenging process and it's challenging, especially if it's not how we were raised because it requires a big departure from the way that we were parented.